The UN has warned the UK government that it could be breaking international law by failing to remove flammable cladding from high-rise buildings. Three years after the fire at Grenfell Tower, there are still 300 tower blocks yet to have the material taken off. In a letter to the government, the UN expressed concern over violations of the human right to adequate housing. Rags Martel reports. Years pass, but the danger is still here. 72 people died at Grenfell. Now the United Nations is warning the UK people are still living in unsafe towers. Well, we found that there are still many buildings that have this flammable cladding on them. I mean, it's that simple. In her report for the UN, Leilani Faha confirms there are still 300 buildings with the exact same flammable cladding as Grenfell and over a thousand more that are still not fire safe. Were you surprised to find that many buildings still with flammable cladding three years after the Grenfell fire? Absolutely, and it's not something I can well understand, to be honest. Because Grenfell had such dire consequences for so many people, I would have thought the government would have moved very swiftly to do whatever was necessary to ensure that that cladding was no longer on buildings putting people's lives at risk. The United Nations report says three years after Grenfell, there are still an estimated 600,000 people living in homes with dangerous and flammable cladding. And that could be a breach on international laws on standards of living. You know, they're allowing this to continue. They know what their human rights obligations are. They really need to take immediate steps to get rid of that cladding. Ritu Saha lives in a building with flammable cladding in Bromley and formed a campaign group to make all homes safe. It is a cause of constant worry. It is a cause of fear. We are living with our families, with uh, young children, elderly neighbors, living 24-7 in these dangerous homes. And to top it all off, uh, we are being forced to write a blank uh, check to fix uh, these uh, failings of uh, fire safety, which were not our fault. Now with the UN waning saying that Karim Masili you know, lost his uncle in the Grenfell fire. It's almost like, what more needs to be said? What more facts do you need to know that this stuff shouldn't be out there? How many more lives are gonna die? How many more buildings are gonna burn on national TV and international TV before our government starts pulling up their socks and making people safe? The Department of Housing didn't want to speak on camera, but in a statement they told us the government acted quickly to establish a comprehensive building safety program to drive up standards and ensure people are safe in their homes. But the UN's given the government 60 days to explain why so many people are still at risk from another Grenfell. Rex Martel, ITV News.